Even before there was written history, people crowded into cities and created the problem of what to do with the wastes city dwellers produce. Take the congested cities of England during the Industrial Revolution. Public sanitation? Just about non-existent as garbage and body wastes were thrown into the streets or the nearest water channel. Raw sewage ran openly through many cities. Thousands died from waterborne diseases such as cholera and typhoid fever. Not only in England, but in American cities too. Sewers originally built to drain storm runoff were gradually converted into drains for wastewater. Today, the health hazards remain. Many of the pollutants that are discharged into wastewater are concentrated during treatment in sludges. And the problem of where to put them is still with us. We're now disposing of some 35 billion gallons of sludge a year, and the amount continues to increase. Sludge contains all the pollutants and contaminants removed from wastewater. Toxic substances, pathogenic viruses, bacteria, protozoa, parasitic worms, all of which threaten our health and the ecosystem on which we depend for survival. Viruses are incredibly potent packages of infection. So we need to make sure that any treatment that we give sludge is indeed effective in eliminating viruses as a health hazard. 